All right, in this problem, I want to evaluate g times h of 3. So tell me what that means. How, how can I rewrite this so it makes more sense to me? g of 3 times h of 3. So that means you just take these guys individually, evaluate them, and then do what with the results? Multiply them. OK, so. Get my thought bubble going here. G of 3. G of 3, let's see, my function is still up here. So that's 2 times 3 squared minus 3. So what do I get here? 3 squared is 9 times 2 is 18 minus 3, and I end up with 15. You all agree with that part? I'm just plug in functions. All I have to do is plug in numbers. And now I've got to figure out what h of 3 is. So what about h of 3? 1 over 3 minus 5, so that's what? Negative 1 over 2, right? So when I look at what I'm working with here, I've got g of 3 times h of 3. What's g of 3? 15. And h of 3 is negative 1 half. So I know those of you out there appreciate multiplying with fractions. And what do you get? Negative 15 halves, this fraction is simplified. There's no need to convert it to a decimal or a mixed number when I'm OK with the simplified fraction. Questions about that guy?